Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of oh, Mixed Mo's. Got my little Riley boy here. Um, we're just in the middle of half term, but by the time you guys uh, see this video, he'll be back at school and uh, I'll be I'll be bus flat out of work. Down. Eh? Bus broke down. The bus broke down. The bus broke. Yeah, the bus broke down on the last day. You had you had one extra day, didn't you? Why you here? Brandon has been here, yeah. Brandon's been here, he's visited as well. I'm going to work now. Huh? Work. He's gone back to work now. Have you quite finished? Yeah. Fantastic, right. Okay, so, um, got a few bits and pieces here to get through, uh, but in a video today, I'm going to be showing you how I now can recoil um, pull cord assemblies when the spring comes out. A really, really easy way of how to do that. Um, so that's what we're doing in the video. But before we get on to do that, I've got a few puzzles to get through, so please bear with us because People sending this stuff out of goodness of their hearts. It's raining. I know it's raining, yeah. Out of goodness of their hearts, and it's only fair that I um I show that by uh by, by showing the video. So the first thing I had come through was a little tiny um set of two-stroke bungs, uh, which go on the tanks. I think these are 19 mils. Um it might be a selection here. These are the two-hole ones which go on the tanks of the two-stroke carburetors uh, for when they leak. So someone sent me oh. those, I don't know who it was, but thank you very much for those. Uh, you've got a parcel just here. Let me get it started for you. This one. Well, you have to you have to open it and find out, won't you? So simple as that. Let me get a, let me just get a knife in there. Are you one? I didn't order nothing. Uh, this one. Knives are. Sure. They certainly are, young man. This one. I've got, I don't know. It's what I find out in a minute. Right, here you go. I've yeah. got that. That's for you. Oh my gosh. What you got? It's hang on, me. hang on. Got lots of stuff here. You got a card here as well. Oh, what's that on there? Sweet. We've got sweets, chocolates on here. And the card says, Hi Riley boy, uh, you make me smile when you are on YouTube with your dad. This is for you with love from Brian and Avril. <laughs> what have we got? You got a mixed mowers number one helper t shirt. How cool is that? There you go. How cool is that? It's, it, it's a little bit big, to be fair, but do you know what? You're growing into that. Um, mixed mowers, number one helper. That's you, your number one helper, aren't you? That's cool. It's I like that. What's your name? Uh, that was from, I like the chocolates on the front, that's what's cool. Your, what's your name? Uh, from Brian and Avril. It's a by Which is cool, they're from Hertfordshire. So thank you very much indeed for that. Riley Boy, we love that, it's a nice one too. <laughs> I got confused, I thought it was from somebody else, because they asked, you, you, got, so, you got another t-shirt coming, I think from, uh, I think from Ken. But you got a mixed mo's number one helper. Is it your YouTube channel? Yeah. Is it my Uh Yeah. Is it recording? Uh, yes, we're recording, yes. So thank you very much indeed for that. Much appreciated. Is also got this one here. Yeah, I'll get stuck in that one. Yeah, Do you want a hand to just get in there? Because not you know your, your little fingers are like. Put, just pull it out. Uh. That's it, right, get your hand in there. Oh, a day! What? A day! What you got? You can pull it out then? Mm. Okay. A day! So you've got some Kinder Egg surprises. Uh, hey, my Six, uh, six Kinder it's eggs. Out. Okay, what's well, something else? Mm. Oh, that's cool. What's that? We've got, we've got, we've got a letter in here too. Hang on. No. Let's get the old letter out. Why not? I get my hands in there. It's itchy. No. Oh, more letters. Daddy. Hang on. We're getting there. Daddy. Yeah. You're all reading. Uh, it's you can read this one here. Though. Uh, that's the same one, I think. Oh, no, that's for you. Yeah. What's it say? That's your one. It says, uh, show me. Uh, enjoy your gift, uh, Riley boy, from Brian and Avril. There you go. So, so, so they sent their Kinder Eggs and a T-shirt, a jumper for you. And I've got here, uh, enjoy your gift, um, all the best, from Brian and Avril as well. Uh, Brian Taylor. Daddy. And Brian has sent me, these are cool. Is it a hammer? No, it's not a hammer. It's a, uh, this is on my Amazon wish list. For those of you who don't know if I've got Amazon wish list, I expect you all do. So yeah, come sit down, buddy. Come and sit down, otherwise uh, your head will be in the way and no one will be able to see your gorgeous face. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to get in here. Let me, let me bust it open with a knife. Knives are? Stop. They are. Daddy, yeah. it? Hang on. There's not much to open. It's not It's not, not a toy. Daddy. So they've sent me, there's two bags, there's double bags. What's your name? Brian, oh, an apple. I need to poke myself the finger in. So they've sent me a, um, yeah, hold it. What's that? Um, a spark plug socket wrench do. for doing for doing spark plugs that's cool if I'm warmer. perfect so now i can undo me undo my spark plugs long reach one as well it's nice very nice and dealy dude we like that a lot actually so i need to just try and cut that into my new um my new toolbox so that's super cool i like that a lot thank you very much for that that's a uh, 16 mil and 19 that's cool lovely yeah yeah 
You've also got, I've got one of these as well. Mine's upstairs, um, bit of fluff. Mine's upstairs. This is from uh, the Moa Medic. Um, for those of you that don't know the Moa Medic, um, he's over on YouTube, go and check him out. Yeah. Bit of dust on my phone, work top. Um, I've got one too, I've, I've been wearing mine. Um, you tick it. I mean, you've got a ticket. You, 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 you yeah, on we have to take, we have to take, no, you can't wear it now. We have to take the tickets out if you don't, but you don't like tickets, do you? It's so nice. So you've got a Moa Medic t-shirt there as well. I know that Jeremy um, had them um, really pretty nice. enough, especially for us, so it's, that's cool. It's really nice. It's not nice yet, it's good. Well. So thank you very much indeed for that, Mr. Mr. Moa Medic. That's cool. And I've got one more parcel here, lots of parcels. This has come off of my Amazon wish list. And I was sort of surprised that this gentleman actually, actually purchased this for me because I think all I did, literally, was I responded Daddy, to... Yeah. I'll open it. I'll do it, mate. Um, I think um, I actually just responded. Sitting. I have, Sitting. Yeah. I have. Um, yeah. I think all I'd done, literally, was just literally respond to two of his emails. That's all. That's all I did. Literally, he asked me a couple of questions. Oh. I, I replied, and then he said, "As a as a thank you, oh, no. I, I bought you this." So he's yeah. bought me. Can you get in there? What is it? Yeah, go on. Keep going. Not not quite strong enough. What he's bought it? me another because mine has broke, and that's why I put it on my Amazon wish list. It's a bit of paper in there. What did you say? Oh. And this is from. Let me get it right. I think his, I think his name was Jeffrey. Let me double check. It's Jeffy. I think, no, not Jebby, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Uh, Jeffrey, that's him, yeah. He sent me, okay. uh, it's a nine litre oil fluid extractor. And I've got one of these, that's over there, but mine is broke. Uh, the seal's gone on it. Him? And uh, all you do is um, you put one of your ends, one of these ends here, into the tank, and then into your, uh, into your engine, oh, yeah. and then you pump it. And then it, it'll, it'll take 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 your fluid out. So I think this is a it's nine. Eh? Hey, no, that's it, mate. That's it. It's just cardboard. So mine mine was mine was duff. And uh, yeah, my mate Jeff, he sent me uh, one of those. So super happy about. It. Thank you for that, Jeffrey. Much appreciated, mate. I was a seven litre, seven litre one. Um, but this they have changed the model slightly by looks. They have upgraded it. And I think you now put these straws in here now, which keeps them all all, all out the way, and what have you. So that's cool. If you don't have okay. one of these extraction pumps, then. Um, okay. Hang on, buddy. If you don't have an extraction pump, they're, they're the best things to slice bread because you can pump your stuff into there, take your straws out, and then put that in the boot of your car, take that down to the tip, and then this this bit here that comes out, that comes out of your of your of your dispenser, and then you can literally just pour it straight into the thing at the tip, and uh, there's no mess. So there's no more tipping lawnmowers up on the up on the sides Daddy. when they've got petrol in them because it makes such a mess. Yeah. What do you say? <laughs> What's what I say, mate? It says, warning, please read the manual carefully before use. We don't read manuals. Um, so, yeah, super happy about it. Cheers for that, buddy boy. Much appreciated. Unless you, all I've done was just reply to two of his emails that he just asked questions. What's that? That's a, that, that's a do not touch Riley button. You can't touch that. Right. Don't touch it. No. <laughs> okay. So, um, cheers for that, buddy boy. Much appreciated. So, I've got, yeah, we've got Kinder Eggs, T-shirts, jumpers. Kinder eggs, cards, spark plug remover, a uh, spark plug tool, and bungs. A ten more parcel <coughs> coming. There's no more ten more parcel. I think that one coming from Ken's. What I, what I know. Oh, daddy. So um, that's fantastic. As you, some of you may be aware, some of you may not. I do have an Amazon wish list, and if you want to buy myself or my little Riley boy, I'm always updating it, taking stuff off, putting stuff on. Um, feel free to check out my Amazon wish list. The link will be in my description. Go and check that out, and if you want to buy me and Riley boy a tool, a present, or something like that, it's, it's all there for you. So um, yeah, that, that'd be great if you could do that. So in today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing uh, the recoil assembly on your uh, lawnmower, strimmer, chainsaw, uh, or anything that's got a pull cord assembly on it. You know when you take, you know when your pull cord snaps, and you undo your assembly, and your spring goes twang, like right across the floor. It does, does that, and you think, ah, game over. I've got a tool, and I'm going to show you how I now do it. I used to fight with my, with my thumbs trying to get them to go back in. And uh, this little tool is fantastic. Now, I will tell you more about the tool as we get into the video, but um, it, it isn't a cheap tool, but if you're doing what I do, it's worth every penny. If this is your first time you're watching Mixed Mo's, don't forget to hit the old subscribe button, whack the old bell. Ding! That way you'll be told one done a video or two of them on my Saturday night weekly live stream, which starts at 6.30 p.m. UK time. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty, and let's check out this um, pull cord assembly recall spring tool.
Right, whilst I, uh, whilst I do remember, I've got given a load of stickers here. I need to do these, don't I? I'm not sure the right ones yet. <clears throat> so I've got, now bear in mind, I do, I do have to send some stickers out this week, okay? Um, a little bit behind. But I've got those stickers turned up because my sticker wall has been moved and I did um, receive a few injuries whilst uh, moving the stickers. So I've got the new sticker from Dick Small Engines. That's just turned up, that's a new one. Um, I had his old one, but mine ripped. So I've got a new sticker from Dick Small Engines. Um, Ellis Mower as well, he's a good friend of mine over in America. He sent me a sticker last time, that ripped as well. So I've got an Ellis Mower sticker. And I've also got me mate, um, Andy Pandy, uh, Mower Wizard. He sent me one over, he lives local to me as well. So that's cool. And I think that was it, was it? I've got a couple of spare of Ellis as well. So I do keep all my spare stickers just in case um, someone wants to do a sticker trade with me. So there's three more there to go on the old board. Let me get them put up there first. Um, Dick Small Engines, Mower Wizard and Ellis Mowers. Go and check all those channels out. They're great people. We've got hearts of gold. And uh, they do exactly the same as what I do, just better uh, than me. Um, let's put these up first before we do anything. And then we get stuck into the old video, shall us? I know you lot all think sometimes, I get, I get some comments and I oh, don't even waffle on, but if you don't, you know, people are sending me this stuff, you know, out of goodness of their arts, it's only fair that I uh, I give them, a, give them a bit of air time because uh, they watch me and I watch them, you know what I mean? So, bear with. So, I've got the, my mower wizard, there goes my dick small engine, he's already gone up. Here's my mower wizard one. That's on there. And I've got me Ellis Mo as well. He's cool, Ellis. I like Ellis a lot. He's a good boy. Especially when he drove his lawnmower straight out, straight into his workshop one day. At flat out speed. That's hilarious. Can't check that video out. Right, there's a, there you go. So there's Dick Small Engines, Ellis, um, uh, Ellis Mowers and Mo Wizard. I've got all my, all my favourites up there. They're all right there. So we're filling it up. We're getting there. We'll like to get the other side done at some point. So we can fill that up too. Right, let's get on with the video, shall we? Um, yeah, recoil assembly. Let me just get you repositioned and I'll come back. Okay, I got you zoomed in as far as I can, and you're, you're quite far away. So um, as long as I remember to keep it within within the table, uh, we know roughly where we're going. So this is a still FS55 uh, recoil assembly. I've got other ones I'm going to show you, um, but we all know what happens. Your pull cord snaps right and goes inside there. Okay, and then you get your screwdriver, or you know, it depends what depends what you're working on. You might have a screw here. You might have a bolt here. You might have just a circlip. It could be anything, okay? Um, what generally happens though is that you pull you pull this piece out, okay, and the spring will stay put, okay? But sometimes these get caught up, and uh, what happens is as you as it, as you pull pull this piece up, okay, the spring goes ah, oh, and it, and it goes like that. And anyone that does this um, sort of game, we know exactly what that's like, okay? It's horrible when it happens. You think, oh my lord, that's never going to go back, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take that out, okay? Because because it's life is not over, okay? We have the tools to rebuild you, okay? You have to watch your eyes a bit because these two do tend to give you a bit of a bit of a wallop if you're not paying attention, okay? Let me get my pedal on those pliers. So with your coil now all the way out, I've got this tool here. This is called the EZ Recoil Assembly Tool. Um, it's a winding tool and it comes with different variants, different sizes. That's for lawn mowers, this is for strimmers, and I've got one smaller for chainsaws. All you then want to do is fit the spring inside the center piece, like so, okay? To sit it in there, like that, and have this piece of the spring sat out this little cut, like this little cut, tip it over, put it onto the table, and then wind the tool up. Careful because it is under tension. Once it's all the way in, release the tension. There they are, your spring is now fully recoiled. Okay. Get a pair of long nose pliers, hold the spring down and just remove the center of that of that coil system outside of the center of that holding bay just there. Okay, so just take it out. You then need to just remember one piece, and that is the hook needs to sit on the outside of the um, the recoil system there. And then all you've then got to do is fetch it in, put it into place, into the center, like so. There's a bit of wear on this recoil system, which isn't helping. Fit it in, 
grab hold of your hook in the center on the outside and just put it into it into its place. Just marry it up. It's gonna it's gonna sit in that center piece, which is gonna be roughly there. We'll pair along those pliers. Can't see. Oh, I feel like I've got a customer coming in the door. Is that a customer? Oh, it's my little, my little mate Luke, look, he's coming to see me. Oh, Luke, how you doing, buddy? All nice right. to see you. I'm just doing a recall assembly, um, Luke. Uh, actually, that's why you come here, Luke, isn't it? You come here for a recall. Right, let me sort Luke out. I'm back in two ticks. So with your tool now in place and your little tiny hook just in there, in its place, what you should now be able to do, God willing, is now eject the spring, like so, pull it all the way up. And that bingo bango, there is your spring, fully fully coiled up and in ready to be coiled up. Now this one is actually already broken, as I say, because the um, the centre part of this lug uh, is too far worn. But all you would then do is uh, get your get your pull cord. You then sit this down on top, locate it, and then. Call it up as usual in your normal manner, and that'll be done. So let me show you how to do a lawnmower one on a Briggs and Strap because that'll be the most common. We'll have to upgrade it to the next size up. I'll show you how to do that, and the, the, the process is just as simple. So now let's mimic. Let's mimic something we we, we all hate, right? We're going to undo. Let's just say our pull cord. In fact, let's just mimic that. Let's get a, let's get my Nipex pliers. Cheers, Luke. Let's get my Nipex pliers, right? Cut that. Oh no, my pull cord snapped, right? Worst thing in the world could ever happen, okay? So you can't get out of that, so you've got to, you've got to remove this, bit, this, this center nut here. Which will probably, that probably won't want to come undone, being a, being a rusted, old, rusted old piece of kit. What's that, about an eight mil? Yeah, eight mil. Let's put an eight mil on. We're going to undo that. All right, undo that big nut in the centre. That's it. That comes off. You've got a set of dogs here, right? Now we're lucky with these because v these are these ones tend to stay where they are. But you might have a situation where your springs actually snapped. Okay. Just bear in mind that the hook goes that way. You can see it does. Oh no, my springs just come out and snapped. Oh dear, what, what a terrible shame. Oh, nothing worse when that happens. Okay. Oh my lord. Okay, now these can be an absolute pig to get back in. Uh, you can do it the old fashioned way. You just hook it into here. Okay. Like that. I say the old fashioned way, this is how we do it. But you just hook it into there, best you can. Okay, and then you've got to feed this all the way around. All the way around, all the way around, all the way around, okay? And it, sometimes, they, sometimes they pop out. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our, our little tool here. Now, I'm not being paid to say anything about this tool. This tool is my own. I pay for it with my own money. No one made me buy it. It was all me by myself. Just bear in mind the spring hook has to go that way in, okay, like so, okay? So now, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna put our tool on. We're gonna line up that center piece like I showed you. Let's hook it in place, like so, and then have it so it's coming out of this side just here at the nearest opportunity, which is gonna be, oh, hook it in, hook it in, hook it in, hook it in, it's gonna be roughly there somewhere. Hang on, we'll hook that in there, there it goes. And then we want that to come out of the side, just like that, which it is now. Turn it over, sit it down on the old table, wind the bobbin up, yeah, exactly that, rider boy. Wind her up. It's under tension, don't forget people, so go careful. It will bite you if you don't if you don't get it right. Let the tension go. And there's your, your Briggs and Strat spring. Now all cooled up, ready to go. You can now give it a bit of a clean up if you want to, and what, all that sort of good stuff. So you want to remove that centre post, like I told you before. Just take him out, very gentle, because you don't, you don't want jumping out on you. There you go, so take that out. And this little tiny hook here, that's the one that has to fit in just here. This is the hard, one of the hardest parts of the whole process, is getting that little tiny hook to fit in, but I've managed to master mine. Mine's now gone in, okay? Once that hook's in place, 
put it down, eject it by putting these two together. Oh. Bomb, bomb. Uh -huh. And hopefully, God willing, take the tension out a bit. It got caught up there somewhere. Keep going. We're nearly there. Here it goes. There is your Briggs and Stratton uh, recoil spring, all fitted in, into place. Just want to sit down. There you go. Perfect. There you go. So now you can now hook your um, <coughs> your recoil assembly back in. Change your pull cord. Push that back into there. Hook it up so it catches. Once it catches, you're away. Let me get rid of that bit of pull cord. That'll be right in the way, won't it? You thread your new pull cord in, into there. I always do mine afterwards on a, on a Briggs and Strat. It's just, it's just as easy. Let's get my Nipex pliers. Cheers, Luke. Pete. <laughs> Daddy. Get your, your pull cord assembly out. That's got, that's, that little tiny hook in the centre has got to marry up on this little tiny lug just here, okay? No biggie. All you do is put it in place, sit it down. Eventually, it'll find, it'll find its locating place. And if it doesn't, it's just doing that. It's not doing anything at all. There it goes, it's just caught now. So now we know that that's actually locating, what we can do is put our two little dogs in place. One there. One goes in there. We can put a little tiny locating nut on top. Give that a little tiny impact. Something like that. Made me jump too. Yeah, we know it's in place now. That's doing its job. Yeah. So now, what we can do is just make sure it, lo it locates, which it has there. We can then wind the recoiler system up. Be about there. Hold it. Find your hole on your uh, on your pull cord assembly, which is going to be there. Get your pull cord. Thread it through the hole. Through the hole. Tie a knot. I do one-handed knots. I've been doing it for quite a few years now. Do one-handed knot relatively at ease. Pull that back through, put it tight, let your pull cord go gently. There you go. And that's how you can redo a recall assembly spring. Yes, you've got to buy the tool, okay? If it's just you as a homeowner doing it, okay, I can see why this tool would not benefit you, okay? But if you do it all the time like I do and you have spring issues, that's a tool for you. It comes with two, two or three, three different sizes. It even comes with really, really tiddly size too, tiny, tiny size. So just make sure you get the right size first for your recoil assembly. And you can use the, uh, is it called? it's called the EZ recoil system uh, for ejecting your springs into your assemblies. And once you get, once you get used to it, um, you, know, you, you, can use, you can use that tool every single day of the week and it takes you five minutes, literally rather than mucking about with your thumbs and masking tape, and electrician tape and mole grips and all that sort of stuff. So there you go, that's how I do it. Okay, so there you have it. Um, as I say, this is not really a home user at all. However, if you can get hold of one of these, and these are quite tricky to get hold of, I did struggle. But I dare say, if I sent this to my mate Benedict, um, Ben's workshop, or my mate Top Conquer, if I sent him that with all the bits and pieces, I am nearly 100% assured, I reckon, they can make me one of these out of metal. And I may just send it to them as a challenge to see if they can make one of these for me. Because if I could get a metal one made up, that would be absolutely spanking, because it'll last forever. Um, so I may have a word with either um, Ben's Workshop or um, Top Conquer to see if I can't lave me one of these up. Because that because this isn't gonna last forever. And this was not cheap, this was 30 quid. But um, for a, a unique tool that will put your, your recall springs back in without them punching in the head and poking in the eye and really, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not an old lad, but you know, even now I've got a bit of arthritis set into my knuckles where I've worked outside and whatever all my life. And um, the thumbs, anyone that knows that 
that thumb feeling when you're trying to put them springs back in. But you know what it's like? Oh, it's dreadful. When you're doing two or three a day, it really hurts. But that is called the EZ Recoil Assembly Tool, okay? They do do it in metal, and I've only ever seen them in the States. I did see Garden Hire Spares sell them at one point, but they're out of stock. So if you do come across them in the UK for 30 quid, I would definitely pick one up because it makes your life so much easier. The common problem I found with it is I keep putting the spring in back to front. So you, you just have to reverse it. Um, but for what it takes to just take it out of the tool again, turn it over, flip it back in, screw it back up, done. It, it, it's minutes. So that's cool. Check out the EZ um, tool. I will try and put a link in the description for one, but they are quite hard to get hold of. So don't um, ask me uh, where's the link because they may not be for sale. I did struggle for that, but uh, that come all the way from, from good old Americai. That's a good tool. As I say, some people do use a plank of wood with a nail in it. That's fine with a drill. Absolutely fine. Do it how you want to do it. But do you know what? For what it's worth, I like that. So that's cool. So um, what do you think about that little video? If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the old subscribe button. Whack the old bell. Ding! That way you'll be told one done a video or two more on my Saturday night wiki live stream, which starts at 6.30 p.m. UK time. I look forward to the next episode of Mixed Mars very, very soon. But until then, people, don't forget, much more importantly, take, take her easy. Yeah.